welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Monday, February 22nd. Let's see what's going on with Virgo. The heart of your reading, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. An imbalance between supply and demand. What's the challenge here? Why are needs not being met? Judgment. An ending. Oh, okay. The supply has dried up. You're either not giving anymore, you've decided I don't have anything more to give to this situation. Or there's something that you need and it's no longer available to you. What is Virgo's focus? Hmm. Getting what you want from the situation with the magician You definitely don't have what you want right now. Ten of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck, and that is identifying with your focus. You could be manifesting a way out of the situation if, because the judgment talks about, like, it could mean, I don't want to give to this situation anymore, I want a way out. Or if you are on the other side of that, you could be manifesting, bringing what you need to you. Find me, spirit, find me another way to have my needs met. Find me another, uh, another vendor, another job, whatever this, like, it could be like work is drying up so you don't have any more projects. You need to find a new job. Could definitely be money related because it's pentacles. But it might just be any sort of material or uh, resource that you want or need. In the recent past, we have the King of Cups reversed. I'm getting a pretty strong sense of like not knowing where to go with your emotions. Okay, but what I mean by that is you, um, you'd you like to be able to share something tough that you're going through with someone, but you're not sure who you would even want to talk to about this specific thing. Like you have some close friends that you can talk to about things, but this particular thing you're like, huh, I don't know who I would want to share this with, who is going to be the right person to, to talk this out with. The energy of the environment, we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed, which is a direct progression from where you are now, or it's tying in very much with the, the Six of Pentacles reversed, Six of, Six of Pentacles reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. Well, what spirit wants from you in the situation is to no longer invest in it. Okay, so this is you not wanting to contribute to something anymore because they're not contributing back. I feel like there's a, an imbalance one person is giving a lot more to the situation than the other. And this is your decision to, to stop contributing or not allow the imbalance to continue. You 
You might have even tried to talk to your person about this. Like, here's my discontent. Here's how I'm really feeling about the situation. Let me be raw. Let me be honest. But I think it's more the desire to talk to your partner about it than not knowing how to go about it not knowing what to say or when's the right time to bring this up. Show me the near future for Virgo. How does this story unfold? Ace of Wands, Death in Reverse. Will you get the you get a change, that's for sure. Something is going to be fading out of your life. At the same time, new inspiration comes in. New, It could be new hope as well. Feeling like your spark is lit once again. If you were wanting to pour your heart out and not having anywhere to go with it, that tells me there isn't someone there like meeting you cup for cup. This is like, you know what? I can move in a new direction. I feel better about myself independently and I've, got, I've gotten some uh, new idea. New idea about how I can act in order to get me to where I want or to fulfill my own needs or to get me out of a situation where someone is taking, 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 and not giving anything. Death is transformation. It can also mean endings. That's why it's not clear cut. If this is a relationship, it's not saying that it'll end, but that's possible. It's not necessarily saying that it'll transform and get better, but that's possible. It's, it, I think it's one of the two. Here's what it's saying. A whole lot of things about your life are going to change and whatever is no longer serving you is going away. Show me surprise energy for Virgo, please. King of Swords. The wise intellectual. If we are talking about a relationship, then this is an indication that you could come up with a solution, an idea as to how to correct the course. This is definitely your energy I'm getting. Um, so you're going to feel in control of the situation. You might receive some advice. The King of Swords is such a wise leader that before making an important decision, he will consult with his advisors. And he's selected those as advisors, like I was getting going to a friend to talk things through and not knowing who to talk to, who's going to give you the right advice. King of Swords knows exactly who to call especially when he is in the upright position. He will source the advice or information that he needs to make the right decision. The fact that it's coming through as a surprise might mean you receive information that enables you to make a decision that feels right to you through an unexpected channel, like um, you might just happen across something on YouTube that gives you a little tidbit of information. You're like, interesting, I didn't think of it that way, but now I see a solution. Or in a book you read, or a TV show, or a movie that you watch on Netflix. It's like something coming through in an unexpected way that you weren't seeking the answer from that source, but it comes through anyway. Your hopes and fears, we have the Five of Swords in reverse. You don't want to argue. You don't want to be contrarian. You would like to avoid conflict, if at all possible. I 
I actually am getting that's part of what you're manifesting here and the focus. You're like, I don't want to fight about this. Can we please avoid arguments? Show me the end result for Virgo. Okay. Oh, I think I just spoiled it. Okay, sorry about that. I try when the Ace of Swords comes out to keep it below the video so that you have the opportunity to play the, get the game at home if you're new to the channel or if I haven't mentioned it on Virgo yet. Um, when the Ace of Swords comes out as the beginning position or as one of the two ending positions, meaning for me, the way that I use this modified Celtic cross spread is the final result and then the last position being the advice. Um, when it comes out in one of those three positions, I uh, I see it as spirit giving you the opportunity to have a yes or no question answered. Um, so if you came into this reading wondering something that has a yes or no answer, this could be an answer for you if you choose to interpret it that way. Also, if you'd like to pause the video and come up with a question, feel free to do that. I'll be revealing the answer in three, two, one. We have Ace of Swords in reverse, which is a no. Those of you who don't care to play that game, Ace of Swords in reverse means a, a lack of clarity. The lack of clarity becoming evident. So it's not like nebulous, like why are they not getting it? It's like, oh, they don't understand this specific thing, it, which is interesting. It's like clarity about the lack of clarity. It's, that's the way I see it. If there's a misunderstanding, which is one of the interpretations of the Five of Swords, you might want to resolve a misunderstanding, which would be indicated by the Ace of Swords reversed. It's um, getting clarity over the lack of clarity that caused the misunderstanding. Like, oh, when I said this, you interpreted it to mean that. Now that I think of it, the way I worded it, it could totally be interpreted that way. So I see why, why there was all this frustration or argument. Show me advice for Virgo. Seven of Swords, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Avoid being expected to do all the work in this situation. If you are feeling like there's a habit or a pattern of the people or person that you're dealing with in this situation um, kind of sh cleverly shoving all of the responsibility and all the work onto you, this imbalance of contribution. You need to like wriggle out of that. You need to not allow that to continue. I'm getting the sense of like, that energy is like looming over you like, okay, Virgo, I'm gonna get you. But you're gonna stay under this, this paradigm, you're gonna stay in this situation. And the advice is like, no, I'm not. You, like you need to swerve that energy. <laughs> Even if it means like avoiding it, not facing it, like purposefully, okay, let's say something super simple. I think it's much more important and complex than this. But let's say there's a disagreement over taking out the trash. And your person, for whatever reason, they'll say, oh yeah, we both take out the trash. It's a, you know, it's whenever it's full. However, they're the one who's like pushing it down or conveniently not being home when the trash is full. And this is like, all right, well, two can play that game. You know what? I can, I, I, I will push this down so hard. I'll push this trash down so firmly that, that I'll never take out the trash. Like, it's definitely going to be you taking out the trash next. 
hand, there will be a, a happy ending. Six of cups, uh, sorry, three of cups, three of cups. I, I was a little thrown off there because they had, they obviously had me pull another card there because they wanted to continue the story, but this was meant to be the last, that's typically the last card, the advice that I bring out in the reading. Um, I guess Spirit didn't want to leave it on a sad note because we have happy ending here, Three of Cups. Virgo, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you back tomorrow.